out of focus. I look out of focus. If you're asking me, I need reading glasses, so I think you look fantastic. Hi, everybody. How's it going? My name is DJ Love Cheese, or just Cheese, and uh, we're talking Expona today. And Expona is actually coming up next week, and it is the audio high-end audio convention that's coming to Chicago. It's been here for the last 13 years, and I'm fortunate enough to talk with a local boy. I'm sorry, boy. That sounds horrible. A local gentleman. Well, yeah. Uh, young at heart man. I'll go with that. How's that? Okay, there we go. Perfect. I love it. Joe Corona from Saturday Audio Exchange. And I love, I, I first thing I love was, why do they call it Saturday Audio Exchange? And then I, I read the story on your website, like, we decided we didn't really want to work that much. So we just opened up from here to here. And we know people are going to come in. But now you're open more than just Saturdays. So we, we so first I'll tell you that the gentleman that owns the store, Andy, uh, he worked for his parents' company at first, and the only time he really had to work was Saturday on his fun job, as he described it. Uh, once he left that company uh, and started this full time, then we were open Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday eventually, and now we take appointments during the week, and it's been especially beneficial during the pandemic. Yeah, that's great, and and you have. Oh, and just a quick question on Andy. Did Andy have Andy's music back in the day where he would different person. A rental event? Different person. A different person. There was person. a time okay. when Andy actually thought about calling the company Andy's Audio, and then there was a conflict, so he did not do it. Ah, nice. So you're open pretty much any time by, by request if somebody calls and says, hey, I want to come in and take a look. Absolutely. So we there. open, yeah, we, we are open uh, basically most days around 11 to 5. For appointments and most of the time those things book up especially during the pandemic about a week week and a half in advance uh, we promise people when they come to the store that they'll have the store to themselves so they can come in and not feel worried about interacting with anybody if they don't want to yeah yeah i know people are very very shy still about that gun shy i mean a lot of people that are like you know still look around the corner and make sure nobody's there or they don't have a mask on they're kind of you know um and i completely understand that you know people are just that way you know in general so um, tell me a little bit about Saturday Audio Exchange and, and the whole concept of it. So we are, um, I guess Andy would help us, and I would like to describe us as this. I think we are the high value store in Chicago. We are both new and used here. Uh, we'd like to think that we have a little something for everybody from the audio video mm -hmm. side of things. Uh, we cover price ranges that range from under $100 for components to hopefully as much as anybody would want to spend um <laughs> we have and, and we're celebrating our 40th year this year so the concept has seemed to work so we've done a good job of trying to cater to the neighborhood and we really are a neighborhood store a large percentage of our business still comes within the surrounding three or four zip codes that's great that's great i was looking at your website and literally you have everything from a to z you have it all. You people can come in there and, and get everything they need to set up their, you know, they, you don't just carry speakers. You know, you don't. You well, have I would. Everything. I would say that we have benefited from being one of the last men standing. So yeah. as uh, when we started the store years ago, there were a hundred stores like us in Chicago. Now there's a handful of us in Chicago, and as stores have dropped out, we've been able to expand our lines to basically be able to serve our clientele better. And as yeah. other stores have gone away, those clients have come here looking for gear and we needed to be able to suffice their needs. So what are you going to be doing at Expona? Are you going to just have a, a booth with a few things or are you like, what are you going to have set up in your, in your, in your room? Okay. So first off, uh, we were one of the inaugural exhibitors at Expona. So we've been doing this for a long time at this point. Nice. Uh, we've grown to five rooms this year. So our vendors have been very nice to us and have helped us along the way, uh, both grow our business, but also grow our presence at Expona. So this year we have five rooms. Um, so we're gonna be trying to present what we think are both very high value products and products that may be new and interesting for folks coming to the show. Nice, and, and being Saturday Audio Exchange, can people bring in their equipment and you'll buy it? Do you still buy equipment or? We sure do. So we're, we're happy to buy a quality used piece of gear. It doesn't necessarily have to work. We just have to be able to repair it. So as long as the product is still something that we can service and we hope to be able to service years from now, 
we're happy to buy that product and then recondition it and refurbish it and then offer it up for sale again. Nice. That's perfect because a lot of people, you know, upgrade and they want to get, you know, some money for their older equipment to buy newer equipment and go bigger and better and then come to see you and do both. They could exchange theirs, get some money and buy some bigger speakers or better speakers. Or a and turntable. So we could, sure. So we, we take things in on trade, but we also will buy things outright. And yeah. people that do anything that anybody buys at the store has a 90 day exchange privilege. So somebody buys a piece and they're not in love with it. They bring it back within 90 days. We give them everything that they paid for it. And then they can find a new piece that really hopefully makes their day for them. Um, nice. I would tell you that even though used product is a good percentage of our business, new gear is by far the lion's share of what we do nowadays. Yeah. What is the biggest selling? Is it speakers? Is it a little bit of everything? Or what's the, the number one product you have going out? Turntables? I would tell you that turntables have been a very important part of our business since the yeah. last recession in 2008. Um, I would go so far as to say that I think in some ways that really helped us stay in business through that. We had never abandoned vinyl as a source. Uh, so we had a nice clientele base coming into the store. And as stores went away, we were became a place known for being able to pick up a great turntable for a decent price um, and then be able to put together a system. Uh, in our view, uh, as much as we love to sell a single component, we're more concerned about how a system works, just that as a system. And a lot yeah. of our clients... So first off, we're, we're right by Wrigley Field. So we're about four blocks south of Wrigley Field. We're in a highly mm -hmm. urbanized area here in Chicago. We have a lot of folks that are looking for lots of sound, but from not necessarily super large components. So at the show this year, we're going to hopefully show some folks how we actually can do that in a system, provide really big sound, and then a system that may fit in their budget or their living space better uh, that offers almost as great sound for the money that they're going to spend on it. So you'll be able to hear a great pair of loudspeakers, one that's truly world-class, and then you'll be able to hear a smaller version that may fit into your room much easier that we think will be equally world-class. Yeah, because a lot of the places here in Chicago, you know, you get a place downtown, you get a place in that area by Wrigley Field, they're not big giant houses, you know, like out in, in the suburbs, Wheaton of Barrington, you know, they're, <laughs> you know, a studio apartment, but they still want great sound, so they can't. But, you know, if you have everything for them, that's perfect. And that's that's the perfect place to go. You know, I think that's a great point because we're fortunate to now be able to draw from the suburbs. So uh, when you come to the store, we have systems set up for something that might be a small, intimate living room in a house or a condo here. And then we also have things set up for a giant basement for somebody out in one of the suburbs. So if you're fortunate to be in Barrington or Naperville or any of the surrounding suburbs, Orland Park, whatever, you have these lovely giant basements and we're also fully equipped to be able to deal with those size spaces as well. Nice. So what, what is your favorite part about Exponent? Is it talking to the people? Is it, is it introducing them to new equipment or old equipment or is, what is your favorite part? I would say that, um, and this is borrowing something from Andy. I think Exponent is really a party for the industry. And yeah. it's a chance for us to kind of beat our chest and say, hey, look, we're still here. We're doing very well. We get to see people that maybe sometimes we only see once a year. Maybe they only come to Chicago for this event. So we get to touch base with some clients that we really like that we don't get to see on a regular basis as a neighborhood hi-fi store. So the ability to show some new fun products to somebody or give them a new experience that they've never had before. And to be fair, we go to Exponent to look at some of the stuff that we don't sell. I mean, we're all fanboys yeah. of the product and the industry. So there are times when we go there and I might sneak off to see something that I know I'll never be able to afford, but just want to know exists and makes me thrilled to be in an industry that has a product like that in it. Yeah, right. Like I, I want to hear the sound of a $20,000 speaker system, you know, and that's just, sure. I, I, and from speaking with Greg from Volte Audio, you know, there's, he, he's, priced lower, but and he's, you know, the, the amount of money you could spend on a home stereo can go up to more than a hundred thousand. Are there, are there? Oh, sure. Th there will be systems at the show probably eclipsing a half a million dollars. Um, but again, as, as our focus at the store, we're very value centric. You know, I want to be able to show somebody they can get world-class sound, not just from a giant speaker that costs a lot of money, but from a system that they can actually own and have in their house and be able to live with in their house, maybe even more importantly. 
Nice. Yeah, because the, some of the stuff I mean, I've, I've been looking through, you know, it's more of it's kind of like instead of just having a black speaker in the corner or a brown speaker in the corner, it's like a piece of art and it looks beautiful. Like the ones sitting behind you, those look great. And they, 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 I can like move out of way a bit. yeah, you know, it's, that doesn't look like the old speakers I had when I was a kid. They were, you know, just these big round, uh, square wooden boxes, you know. And I thought they were great at the time. And then you start seeing all these other things like the ones behind you. And it's just amazing how far the technology has progressed. I think Exponent has, is a great showcase for manufacturers to show off what they can do. So I think that you'll be able to see loudspeakers that look like beautiful furniture or ones yeah. that look fairly space age or ones that are indescribable because you may not have ever seen anything like it before. And as a participant, you know, we want to bring things that we think will interest our clients, but we also want to show folks some maybe things that will excite them and maybe give them some ideas of what they may want to do in the future for themselves. And I think everybody that comes to Expona is really there to do the same thing, show people yeah. what's possible in home entertainment today and help them see a better way to enjoy the music that they love or the movies that they love in their own environment. And whether it's big or small, doesn't matter we can find something or help you build something that works for you. See, that's what I love about the, the, the group, the audio file group. I don't know, you know, if you call that, but they, everybody that I talk to has been, we explain everything. We tell you how to, you know, and that's what I love because I'm a novice. Like I said, I have, I still have my, you know, stereo system from when I was a kid, you know, and it was just plug in the speakers with the two wires and, you know, and it's come so far, but they're willing to show you and say, this is what this is for. Not just you need this, this and this, you know, here you go. But explain what each piece is for, what it does, how it will benefit you, how it will help your speakers, what kind of speakers to get. And that's the thing that I love is that, you know, I don't want to just like you walk into a, a big box store and they're like, yeah, speakers are right there. You know, I, I would like, say I don't know which ones, you know. <laughs> so I, I think there's a couple things that have benefited us, benefited us as an industry, and it's certainly here at the store. I would tell you that years ago, I, I've been selling hi-fi for 42 years, but you know, so I had a I had a demo cassette tape 42 years ago, right, uh, with songs on it. It was awful. Today, I can have a customer come into the store, and I can give them a tablet, and I can let them stream any of 80 million songs. And it's not just the handful of records or CDs we had in the past. Anybody can listen to really anything they like at the best quality sound available, whether it's studio right quality or CD quality, they can hear it and they can either use their phone as a controller or even as a source. So we'll be demonstrating those technologies at Exponent in all of the rooms. We'll have streaming capabilities so people will be able to listen to the music that they want and hopefully allow us to give them a good presentation that we think shows off or show off the equipment to the best of our ability and the best of its ability. That's great. I love it. So Expona is coming up next week, April 22nd through the 24th. Uh, get your tickets online because they are cheaper. Uh, AXPONA.com. Get your tickets online because they're, I think they're five bucks cheaper if you buy them online. You can get a three-day pass. Um, Friday and Saturday nights, there are concerts. Friday night, we'll have uh, Chicago Blues Man, Toronto, Toronto Cannon will be performing. And then on Saturday night is Lori... Lieberman. Are you familiar with her? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, and, and Plus, that's I've been seeing be her amazing. ads everywhere. Yeah, she is going to be amazing, and it's going to be uh, amazing to hear the, the person that actually wrote Killing Me Softly. And she did it as a poem, and it turned into a song, and then it got picked up, and picked. And there's been so many covers, and it's a, a song that's lasted and been reimagined in different ways, so it'll be great to hear it from the person that actually wrote it and how she does it, you know, her own way. So the, there's two Absolutely. great concerts Friday and Saturday, and uh, there's over 130 listening rooms. Um, you could go and you could check out all the different exhibitors. You could check out Saturday audio exchange. You could go to each room and hear different things and you'll be hearing music all over the place. So there's going to be no shortage of that. Um, are you, are you looking for forward to anything in particular? Like, is there one booth that you said, Oh, I got to go check their stuff out? Well, I, 
I would, I would like, first off, I'd like to give a shout out to all the vendors that are helping us at the show real quick and, and tell you the rooms that they're, that we're going to have uh, based on the products that are in them real quick. And then uh, the last one I'm going to mention is a new product to us that I'm, I'm going to talk about. But real quick, I would okay. like to tell you on, on the main floor, we have um, the nice folks from Parasound and Golden Ear um, grouped up for a room. It's going to be very good. Uh, NAD and PSB will be in a room basically right next to them. Uh, we have Paul Barton, the founder of PSB, that will be in the booth fairly often. We're going to have a nice. streaming seminar the last um, hour of each day, Friday and Saturday. Folks that aren't really sure about what streaming is all about, we're going to have a, a quick one-hour seminar to answer all those questions for them. We have a, a lovely room with the Monitor Audio folks and their import product, Roxanne. Uh, Roxanne is a new product for us as well. And Paradigm and Anthem will have a really great sounding room featuring the new Founders Series products. And last but not least, we have a new product to us, a company called ATC, okay. uh, world-class studio monitors from the UK. Uh, and that's a room that I haven't seen all the products in yet. So it'll be enlightening for me besides the few pieces we have on display to see a little bit more of what they have to offer. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I forgot about that. I forgot. Um, besides just the listening rooms, there's seminars all day long. There's, there's uh, people talking about streaming, about... Uh, audio, uh, vinyl versus streaming. There's, you know, how to put together a turntable. There's just all these different seminars and talks that people are giving. So it's it's more than just coming and looking at, at products. You can also learn about the products and you could hear different people speak on different topics. So there's plenty to do, you know, and, and the show's open from 10 to 6, I believe, and on Friday and Saturday. And then the concerts are at 8 o'clock. Friday and Saturday night, and there will be, you can fill that time up going through all of these rooms, I'm sure. And so it's, it's going to be great time. I can't wait. So I would say with 130 plus rooms at the show, you're going to be busy. Uh, I would tell you that as hard as we're all going to work to get the best sound available in each of the rooms, I guarantee you, if you are intrigued, go find a dealer, uh, listen to it in a real store, and then also get it home. And I guarantee no matter how great it sounds at Expona, no matter how yeah. good it's going to sound at the showroom, it's going to sound way, way, way better in your home. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, because oh, they're, they're in no a... question, no yeah. question. So, it's is there ever is there ever like fist fights between the guys? Streaming, <laughs> vinyl, streaming, well, you know, vinyl. The, so we we get those occasionally, but at the end of the day, we tend to end those conversations really quickly. And my question to those folks is always simple: Do you love music? Yeah, I love music. Do you have all the music you ever want to listen to? No, I don't. Would you like <laughs> to have all the music you'd ever want to listen to? Well, yes, I would. But you know what? You really should consider streaming for a small amount of money a month. You can have every song you're ever going to want to listen to. Roughly right now, about 600 years worth of music. And I hate to say this, Cheese, but you and I are not young enough to be able to listen to all that music before yeah. we go. So uh, in, in my view, I have now changed how I look at music. I used to, when I was younger, know good music from bad music. Now, of course, I just know that there is music I like and music I don't understand yet because the young yeah. folks that come in the store expand my musical vocabulary exponentially almost on a weekly basis. So it's thrilling to be in this industry, to be able to have that kind of dynamic interaction with customers that mm -hmm. you're not just teaching them, but they're teaching you too. Yeah, I, I got lucky. My daughter is 22 now. And so as, as she was growing up, I kept getting music tips from her like what should i be listening to what's cool now you know and i would listen and some of it i wouldn't like and so but it's 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 good to have that around you know to have uh somebody younger around to introduce you to music that you might not have even thought of listening to you know like my daughter uh for a while there i think she still is she loves k-pop korean pop music and sure. some of that stuff is amazing those kids are very talented and the music's good and it's kind of jazzy and it's got, you know, it's dancey. It's, it's, it's not what you think it is. If you just heard the word uh, K-pop, you know, and I, and they, I, I can tell you, I've heard some of those kids sing in real life. Some of them can really sing. I mean, amazing yeah. voices, very talented. And I, I yeah. actually, one of our rooms, we promised to be demoing some material that probably is not on the audiophile playlist. And we want to do that on purpose. We want folks to hear that a system should be able to play any genre of music extremely well. So we're, we're going to throw in some some things that may not pop up on everybody's initial playlist. 
uh, but I guarantee it'll be fun nonetheless. There you go. Throw on some misfits and make everybody happy. Everybody loves sure, misfits. Sure, why not? <laughs> if you don't know the misfits, you at least you at least know their logo. It's usually the skull. And uh, <laughs> I like to walk up to kids who have that T-shirt on and go, "What's a name a misfit song?" What? They're a band? You know, it's, it's so funny, but it, this, it's just a, such a great looking logo. You know that it's it's people buy it for that. So I can't it's wait. Beautiful. It's going to be a great time. So two great concerts, uh, tons of different seminars and talks. You could even come in and talk to Joe and Andy and they'll answer any question you have. And I found that with most people that I've been talking with about this, audio people love to talk audio. So I'm sure you'll find <laughs> plenty of people to talk to and you're going to come away learning something. I know I'm going to come away learning millions of things if my, my little brain can handle it, but there's so much to know and learn about audio that I had no, you know, like I could, I would talk to our engineer at the radio station and five minutes in, I would be lost because he'd be explaining and trying to tell me how that, and I'm like, you know, so I can't wait to get in there and actually learn about this and, and get into it more because it is such a great hobby. And it takes the things that you remember as a kid, like music when you were a child, when you were a teenager, it takes you to that moment. You hear that song and you're like back in high school in your 67 Camaro driving down, you know, with your girl, you know, it takes you back to that time. And that's the great thing about music. And, you know, with the, the equipment that is going to be shown in Expona, it feels like you're there again. Well, I, I have two things I, to add. One is perfect as an adjunct to what you said. One of my best friends believes that a great hi-fi is a tremendous time machine. Um, yeah. Where else can you go listen to Miles Davis in the studio or Jimi Hendrix playing anywhere? Uh, you just don't have those opportunities today. And especially during lockdown, you never got a chance to go out and see any live music. So being able yeah, to replicate absolutely. that in your home is a real gift. Um, I'd also like to add as a, an adjunct for our 40th anniversary this year, and since this is a special year for us at Expona, we are going to be sponsoring, actually our manufacturers are sponsoring a bunch of giveaways with some very nice products. So if you stop by any of our rooms, there will be some details about how to win things from Golden Ear and from Parasound and from PSB and NAD. Um, and the nice folks at Paradigm are giving away loudspeakers. It's going to be some great, great products to give away. Uh, we'll give those away on Friday and Saturday uh, during the last nice. hour of the show in the Parasound and Golden Ear room. Uh, we will also give away some things around noon or one o'clock on Sunday, uh, some fun little leftovers that we're going to have for you. But the big prizes mostly will go out on Friday and Saturday evening before you leave the show. And then on Sunday, before you leave, you give everything away, right? Because you don't want to have to so lug it all home. You just well, we, out, we would right? love if people want to come <laughs> to the show and, and take our displays with them home. That would make our day. So yeah, right? uh, sending back <laughs> less than we send there would be wonderful in every respect. <laughs> and well, thanks I for can't saying wait. that. I know, right? Um, like I said, there's going to be plenty to do. There's going to be plenty to see, plenty of talks, two great concerts, and you're going to you're going to regret going because you're going to be now I got to go out and spend money, but then you're going to love it because you've got a great stereo system at home, a great hi-fi system. And, you know, you, you like Joe said, you can go from thousand dollar speakers all the way up to half a million dollars for an audio setup. I wish I had that kind of budget, you know, but <laughs> audio Don't unfortunately wait. doesn't pay like it used to. And uh, so I will not be buying a half a million dollar system anytime soon. Well, I don't know if anybody that does what we do for a living uh, ever gets rich doing it, but we get a lot of satisfaction uh, in a really great career in a really dynamic industry. So I'm I'm OK with what I do. I think it's the best thing I could have ever done for myself. And I, my industry has certainly treated me well enough to keep me here for 42 years. I love that. That's great. And it's it's great to find somebody who has the passion for that and is not just a salesman. You know, like I said, you go into the big box stores. Well, what's so special about this speaker? look at it it looks great doesn't it well what you know and, and they don't know but you go into saturday audio exchange you you know you go to expona and you talk to people and they actually know everything and they will explain and help you pick out what is best for you what is best for your size room you know and uh that was great advice like you said you know make sure you get a 90-day return policy so that way once you get it home 
if you don't, it doesn't sound the way it did, you can bring it back. You can exchange it for what's right for yeah. you. Absolutely. That's perfect. I love it. So do you happen to have a uh, Techniques 1200 hanging around? You know, <laughs> they come in fairly often, but unfortunately at the moment, not any at the moment. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Perfect. Back in the, in the old school days when I was DJing, I used to have two, my two Techniques 1200s, as everybody did. That was the the go-to turntable back in the day. But now I'm I'm sure there's uh, much better ones. But for the DJ, I don't know. I think if, if you're DJ, I think the, the old-time DJs still like the Techniques. So DJ turntables are a little bit different breed than most ones that come for home. Uh, one for home are really geared towards getting the most out of the groove in a quiet environment. Uh, DJ turntables are designed to be able to play very loud in a much louder environment, and they excel oh, okay. at that. So for us, we, you know, I, I like the Techniques 1200s. We're happy to have them. Everybody that walks through the store knows it instantly. Um, yeah. But we're also happy to, when we have them, to present a modern turntable that isn't like a 1200 that does a very good job of extracting a ton of music from the grooves and taking better care of your records along the way as well. See, right there. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, you know, there's difference in the sound you get from, you figure it's a turntable, it's a needle, it plays, but no, there's a difference. And then I didn't know that. So I just learned something right there, you know, but like you said, for uh, the techniques, you, if you're using it to DJ, it's a big sound and it's for loud, but if you're sitting at home and you want to hear everything, it might not be the best choice for you unless you just want to have it because it takes you back to that day when you were DJing back in 1985, you know? Absolutely. All right. Well, looking forward to talking to you. Thank you for today. Once again, get your tickets online, uh, AXPONA.com. Uh, next week, April 22nd through the 24th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, come on out, get your tickets online so they're cheaper. And come on out and talk, look around, listen. Uh, plenty of seminars, plenty of talks. Meet people who are, are interested in audio just like you and uh, hopefully don't get in a fight with somebody who says vinyl is the end all be all. We don't want to see any fist fights. Arguments it's all about the love okay. for audio. It's all good. Music okay. love is what, what we're looking for. Yeah. So, we want uh, love and maybe just a low key like argument about vinyl and streaming. I wouldn't mind seeing that. You know, that's okay. As long as it's, it's fun at heart and not, you know, mean. Um, but I, I don't see anybody being mean. I think it's going to be a great time. Obviously, there's not going to be anybody mean there. Um, and but geez, it's I look forward to You're going to learn a lot. Oh, you've met me. me have you Have you had mean people come in? No, no. I just was saying I, I'm, I'm going to be thrilled to meet you and everybody else that's going to come to the show. Yeah. Uh, Andy and I, the owner of the store, and I will be on the first floor uh, pretty much not too far from reception and when you first check in. So if you want to say hi to us, feel free to stop by our rooms. We're, we'd love to meet everybody. Uh, we'd love to be able to play some of our things for you and give you a really great experience to start off the show on the first floor. And then you can head upstairs and get crazy. Nice. I think actually I'll be at the show uh, on Friday and I think we're doing a hit with Fox if it's still uh, on. So I'll, since you're right on the first floor, right by there, hopefully we'll come by and talk to you for a minute uh, and we can talk uh, live on Fox Chicago. Love it. That should be fun. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, please get your tickets once again, exponent.com. Make sure you stop by and see uh, Joe and Andy at uh, Saturday Audio Exchange, five different rooms they have with different uh, products in each room, concerts, seminars, plenty of stuff, axpona.com. And what is your website? It's www.saturdayaudio.com. Saturdayaudio.com. Perfect. And once again, you can Go onto the website and see the times, or you can schedule an appointment if you would like to store to yourself and have Joe all to yourself so he can tell you what you need, what uh, would be best for you, and uh, not have to worry about other people being around it if that's what you're looking for. I love that. That's perfect. Oh, always happy to help. Nice. So we'll see everybody uh, next week and Friday, uh, let's see, Tuesday. I believe we'll be doing another live stream, uh, speaking to another exhibitor. So we will see you on Tuesday at two. Once again, I believe two, yeah, two. And uh, everybody, please come and stop by and say hi. I'll be there all weekend. Joe and Andy will be there all weekend, and there will be no shortage of entertainment and fun stuff to look at. So uh, once again, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. 
And uh, congratulations on 40 years in business. That's that's an amazing feat. Yeah, we, we, we've tried hard. And uh, thank you so much for having us on the show. We, we appreciate it and a little opportunity to talk about ourselves and Expona. Yeah. Can't wait to see you. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. And please stop by. And if you see me, say hi. Grab me and say hi. And make sure you go and check out Joe and Andy's booths. Booths. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. So thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. And get ready. Expona is... Today's Friday. It's a week away. One week, week away. from now, I could be hanging out with you. Absolutely. Just, right? Hanging out. Maybe we'll, we'll bring margaritas. You like good margarita or you want to just soda? You know, I, I'm going to be working, so I'm probably going to shy away from the drinking at that point. But, you know, maybe we'll catch up after the show. After the show, margaritas on me. There you go. All right. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. And I will see you next week, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And we will see you all next week at Expona at the Schomburg Convention Center. It's out in the, the suburbs, so you don't have to worry about parking. There's plenty of free parking, which is always a hassle. If you go to the McCormick Place downtown, deal with the traffic. It's right across from uh, Woodfield Mall if you're from Chicago and uh, the, the big Ikea. So you can't miss it. It's right off of uh, 90 and it's easy to get to. And like I said, the bonus, free parking. How can Love you beat it. that? Perfect. Perfect. So we'll thank you, Joe. You Have a great next weekend. weekend. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Be safe, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you next